Tonight on ABC 7 News at 6, Governor Mills signs a proclamation declaring solidarity with Ukraine. Plus, the Kennebec County Grand Jury indicts a woman for allegedly setting fires on a college campus. And the state legislature holds a public hearing to address Governor Mills' proposed supplemental budget. We'll have those stories and much more as ABC 7 News at 6 starts right now. This is ABC 7 News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Peter Dubois. And I'm Beth Jones. First tonight, we'd want to note that in light of recent events in Ukraine, you may notice a temporary change to our on-air logo. It's now blue and yellow, representing the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Now, it does take some time to change all of them, so our traditional logo may pop up from time to time. And tonight, Governor Mills has signed a proclamation de uh, declaring Maine's solidarity with Ukraine. The governor's proclamation expresses the state's solidarity with the people of Ukraine against Russia's invasion and urges all Maine people to join in expressing support for Ukraine and its people. The governor also called on the State Liquor and Lottery Commission to exercise its authority to delist all Russian-made spirits as soon as possible. By statute, the State Liquor and Lottery Commission must vote to delist a product, which will prevent any additional Russian-made spirits from making their way to Maine retail and restaurant shelves until further notice. In the meantime, the governor asked all Maine spirits, retailers and restaurants to remove Russian-made spirits from their shelves. She said in part, quote, Maine stands in solidarity with the people of Ukraine in the face of this abhorrent, un